So for Hildeberg, you have three choices in charms. You have Smoke Bomb, Heart Ring, and Divine Relic. Smoke Bomb gives you that extra security when dodging projectiles, Heart Ring keeps your HP requirement, and Divine Relic basically does everything for very little downsides. With all of that, let's just move straight to her first phase. So her first phase basically repeats throughout the whole fight, with it getting increasingly harder the farther you go. But for the first time, all you have to worry about is the mini zeppelins and her laugh. Hildeberg will move up and down, and every few seconds she'll attack with her laugh that travels across the screen towards the player. And then you have the mini zeppelins, with them either being green or purple. The green zeppelins will always shoot 5 bullets in a shotgun pattern, and the purple ones will always shoot 1 bullet. Sometimes the bullet can be pink, which of course can be parried. I'd recommend trying to parry the pink bullets as much as you can, but no sweat if it's out of the way. You will just have to make sure to get as many parries as you can throughout the fight, or try to get them during the last phase with the stars. Anyways, you just shoot Hildeberg for a little bit before she finally transforms into her next phase. Do make sure to move out of the way for this one, because she will dash straight towards you, and she could hit you. If you're good enough, while she's moving back to the right side of the screen, you could EX here and try to get a lot of damage through. It will make her transformations last for a little bit less time than normal, but no sweat if you can't, it's not that big of a deal. So her first transformation will always be the Gemini Twins. After some time, they'll summon a Vortex on your side of the screen, and the Vortex will launch a line of bullets while rotating. Obviously, you'll want to move away from the Vortex while it does this. But an interesting aspect of the fight is that a pink bullet almost always appears while this attack is happening. And depending on how the attack is going, you either can get the parry or can't get the parry. Like I said at the beginning, it's completely up to luck whether you get this or not. Eventually, the Vortex will stop launching bullets, and this basically rinse and repeats until she transforms again. If you deal enough damage, she'll transform back to Hilderberg before she can do this again, so that's why I make sure to EX and do as much damage as possible during these transformations. After the Gemini Twins, she'll revert back to her first phase, which she do exactly the same thing until she transforms again. And this time, she'll turn into the Sagittarius, which is the centaur with the bow. I would heavily recommend you super at the beginning of this phase. Because firstly, this is by far the hardest transformation you have to deal with, at least in my opinion. But not only that, if you super, you basically counter his first attack, which just gives you even more time to deal damage. So either way, just super because he gives you a lot of value. His only attack is to shoot his bow, which launches an arrow across the screen with three blue stars that home in on the player. And these really home in on the player, like they won't go away until you take them out, which is why using super for the beginning of this phase is so useful. And using your super can completely bypass this transformation as well. So if you didn't have enough reason to super during this transformation, now you do. The main difficulty when it comes to all these phases is constantly having to deal with the mini zeppelins while everything is going on. That's what really makes these phases hard, which is why it's even more important to get past these transformations as soon as you can. That's at least my opinion, but if you're able to go slow and it doesn't stress you out at all, then you can go slow. Luckily, the time requirement isn't an issue for this fight, so if you can go slow and still get the S rank, then more power to you. Well, after the Sagittarius, you're basically doing the first phase over again, but there is one thing I should mention. After the second transformation, Hildeberg is guaranteed to throw this next new attack at you, which is a tornado that goes across the screen. This can be pretty easily dodged by going into your mini plane form and going around it. What makes this attack kind of devastating is when you get the green zeppelin and this attack happening at the same time. But other than that, just try to get around the tornado, deal as much damage as you can, and she should move on to her final phase. This tornado attack can occur after the first transformation, it's really all about how fast you beat Hildeberg for her to transform next. So, depending on how much damage you deal to Hildeberg between transformations, this tornado attack can occur earlier in the fight. Sadly, there's not much else to say about these phases, it's all about just dodging whatever you can. There are no easy tips and tricks unlike other bosses, so it's really all up to you to get this done. But I can at least talk about the final phase, in which there is some information that you might not know. For this phase, she'll turn into a moon and summon UFOs and stars to travel across the screen. A couple of the stars might be pink throughout the fight, but sometimes they're in just completely unparryable areas, so it's really up to luck whether you can get parries here or not. Other than that, all you really have to worry about is the UFOs, in which the color of the UFO signifies how it attacks. The red UFOs won't attack until the player is underneath them, and the golden UFOs will attack right before the player goes underneath them. 
That means for the red UFOs, you'll want to dash in front of them so their attack misses, and for the golden UFOs, you'll want to bait their laser attack, meaning you'll want to trigger their laser attack and then back up slowly until their attack is finished. Then you rinse and repeat for any other golden UFOs present. Other than that, occasionally, Hildeberg's face will spontaneously extend outwards, which will do damage to the player. Lucky for us though, her pointy nose does not count for her hitbox at all, so you don't need to worry about not being next to her pointy nose. And that's pretty much all there is to the Hildeberg fight. Being an Isle 1 boss, she doesn't seem like she'd be too difficult on Expert, but trying to S-rank Hildeberg can be quite a struggle if you're not initiated with her attacks. And the mini zeppelins can be really hard to deal with, especially if you're caught in a bad place at the wrong time. Well, I hope the video helped you out in some way, and if it did, please like, subscribe, and share the video to help out the channel. With all of that, I'll see you all in the next video.